Hey everyone, welcome inside the State Champs studio for another edition of State Champs at the State Finals for the 2021-22 school year. I'm Lauren Plant and today we're showcasing the 2021 MHSAA Lower Peninsula Girls Swimming State Finals. Now, before we get started, shout out to Lawrence Technological University for making this show possible. Over two dozen sports and incredible degree programs offered at Lawrence Tech. The coaches want you to recruit yourself. Just head over to ltuathletics.com and click on the Recruit Yourself link. Now this program is serving two purposes as it is doubling up as the final State Champs Poolside podcast of the season. My co-host all season long has been the Bloomfield Hills head coach. He's very involved with MISCA, the Michigan Interscholastic Swim Coaches Association. David Julkowski, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Great to be here again. All right. I have tasked David with three basic topics for all three divisions. We'll talk the team champ first and then a couple of outstanding performances individually. Let's start with where you and your team compete. Holland Aquatics, the home of the Division I championship. Yeah, outstanding season this year. Uh, Pioneer, I think, led uh, wire to wire. Kind of a you know season favorite uh, as we, we kind of projected all year. Uh, took care of business in all three relays. I think we've talked about it on the podcast, like you need that if you're going to try to be a top four team and certainly winning all three is, is going to do it for them. Uh, just had uh, two individual wins, uh, but ended up winning by over 150 points, which was just incredible. Um, and I think we said it again and again, and we saw it every race, just depth, depth, and more depth. Um, if they weren't winning the event, they had two or three girls top eight. And as we say in swimming, you got the bigs and the smalls. So you got top eight and then you got ninth through 16th. And they had, they had athletes in every race. So it was outstanding. Yeah. Congratulations to them. And we also had some outstanding individual performances as well. Absolutely. Uh, Brady Kendall from Plymouth uh, did a wonderful job defending state champ, 50 freestyle, 100 butterfly. You know, the 50 was great. I mean, just, you know, fast off the blocks, incredible turn, lots of power coming, coming off that one turn. It's gotta be perfect wire to wire. But I think what was the best race was that butterfly. Incredible, uh, you know, just the, the power in each stroke. Every coach noticed it. Smooth and clean across the water the whole way uh, and ended up breaking the overall state record. So outstanding there, it was just a great job. She's also committed to Michigan next year, which is awesome. Named to our Michigan Dream Team and also the uh, MISCA Swimmer of the Year. All right, congratulations to Brady. Who else? So Abby, Mark Ucatus yeah. from Thorn Apple Kellogg. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, we, we look at a meet dominated by Pioneer and Brighton and Northville and all these guys, and to see somebody coming out of Thorn Apple Kellogg, she, she was a top swimmer all year long. We saw her on the list, but just to see that dominant performance in the 100 backstroke was incredible. Uh, had a great swim in the 50 free, uh, and then doing a little bit of research the last couple days, committed to swim at Purdue next year. So great job uh, in all the hard work she did. All right, I had the pleasure of filming the Division II state finals for state champs, such a great facility at Oakland University. Everything was top notch, really a great experience for me. And what can you say about Birmingham Sea Home, a program you're very familiar with, uh, and one that is building a little bit of a dynasty. They win all three relays, win uh, the 400 free relay time, 329, 43 up for all American consideration, a really deep team. Uh, that includes the anchor of the 200 and 400 relays to junior Samantha Clifford, who also went on to win the 100 freestyle. Yeah, uh, again, a team with lots and lots of depth. Um, you know, we were watching that score from our meet at Holland, and at one point, Gross Point South, you know, again, awesome credit to them. They just done, done a wonderful job. Coach Fodell's doing great. Um, and it was right around the, the 50 or the 100 fly, and somebody said, hey, watch out, wait till the 100 free rolls around. And Sam goes out and wins that event, but then if you notice, there's four other Seahome swimmers yeah. in that event. And at that point, just leapfrogging over Gross Point South. And after that, you go on, you dominate those relays. Again, winning three relays gives you, you know, four or five extra points on, on your second place finish. And they just did an outstanding job. And again, when you've got the coaching staff, like Coach Carl, and I gotta give credit to Dan Yoon. He's, he was my assistant a long time ago. He's over at Seahome now. Been coaching some of these kids since they were eight and unders. Uh, and they've just done a wonderful job building that program at Seahome. And I think everybody's aware now, uh, Carl and Dan are actually gonna move over and take over the boys team this winter. So watch out for Seahome uh -oh. this winter too. There you go. Yeah, three state championships in a row uh, for them. Some other standouts in D2, Fenton senior Gracie Olson. Uh, she's a, um, just a joy to talk to, really. Uh, the Indiana commit finishes with six career individual uh, state titles. She wins her second straight 200 IM championship, also won the 100 butterfly for a third time, and the dream teamer, swimmer of the meet. Absolutely. Uh, you know, she had an interesting prelims. Uh, there was actually a, a, a DQ called on her in the 200 IM, and it was uh, a technical error on, on the official side. So you get the blood pump and you're worrying about a kid who's doing some big things. But she, she's an incredible athlete. She could swim 
all sorts of races. Uh, you know, she, she picked her favorites here to go after it, but uh, talking to her coach leading up, I mean, she could have been on their medley relay in the breaststroke. She can sprint any of the freestyle events. So outstanding young lady, and I know she's gonna do some great things at uh, in Indiana next year in college. Yeah. Absolutely. And I wanna shout out the diver of the year again uh, in Dexter's Lily Witty, third state title for the junior, sets a D2 state record with 503 points. 509.5 is the all-time record. Uh, you know, here's a dream team diver who spent time with Team USA around the world. Uh, she may just beat the record next year. Absolutely. You know, when she came on as a freshman, like her first meet, I think she broke the varsity record at Dexter as a freshman, first meet ever. So you knew you were going to see something special, and every year she keeps getting better and better honing her skills, really working, like you said, year round, going to the select camps, doing all the special things she needs to. So yeah, absolutely, hats off to her and, and all the incredible stuff she's doing, the acrobatics and the performances uh, in the air is just incredible. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's go back to the west side. Calvin University, Division Three State Finals, East Grand Rapids, back on top of the mountain. Yeah, you know, it was great to be at Calvin. They've done a wonderful job hosting for us. And, uh, you know, again, Butch Briggs uh, bringing the EGR team in. And, and again, a team that slides back and forth depending on their enrollment, um, but they're always a strong presence. But at, at a D3 level, uh, team stacked, just bringing in quite a few athletes. Again, uh, winning all three relays. Picked up two individual wins. Uh, diving was one of them. You know, their diving program has always brought in some, you know, great athletes for them. But again, winning three relays uh, will do it for you every year. So yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's usually it's Cranbrook and, and East Grand Rapids, and uh, this year East Grand Rapids. Uh, getting taken care of business, and we had some uh, outstanding performances. Yeah, uh, Julie uh, Weicher from uh, Marion. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to have them come in and practice with us a couple of days. They're always looking for pool time, and okay. uh, Bill Thompson brought the girls over, so you know we were seeing some of the preparation she was doing leading up to it. But uh, 50 free and 100 free, state champ, uh, Miska Swimmer of the Year uh, for that meet, just outstanding, great. Uh, you know, as we were looking at the dream team, you look at D3 sometimes, and you know she was really a, a presence as, as we were looking at, at selecting that team. Committed to swim next year at Miami of Ohio. Um, again, another young lady working year round, putting in the time, gonna have a lot of success next year at, uh, at Miami. Yeah, and uh, how about uh, Riley Nugent? Yeah, you know, playing well, uh, strong tradition. I mean, you, you, you saw, you see him pop up a long time ago, class BCD, uh, and now in, in D3, they've been doing a great job. She's defending state champ in the 500, really strong swimmer, um, you know, in the distance events. And you, you go through, look, take a look at Swim Cloud and some of the top times. You know, she's there in a bunch of freestyle events, so not only is she gonna, you know, contribute in the, in the two long events, but watch out in the sprinting events as well. Absolutely, all right. Dream team and other information at miscaonline.net? Yeah, uh, we've got uh, Dream Team up there for you. Our Coach of the Year for each zone is going to start coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, we've got our all-time top 16 uh, set up, and all the state records are up to date. And uh, it's, yeah, please, please join us and check it out and see all the great stuff the kids have done. Okay, well, as we wrap here, I want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors of the Poolside Podcast all season, Lawrence Tech, the Michigan High School Athletic Association, Hungry Howie's, and the Detroit Medical Center's physical therapy and sports medicine professionals. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. All right. Congratulations to all of our state champions. If you want to see extra clips and interviews from all the state finals, head over to any of our State Champs Michigan social media channels. Simply search State Champs Michigan. Or you can download and stream the free State Champs Network app to catch all the shows. You can even watch this program on your television if you have the Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku-enabled TV. I'm Lauren Plant. Thanks for watching this edition of State Champs at the State Finals. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner of the MHSAA. EA Graphics, get your official MHSAA Championship merchandise at shopmhsaa.com.